Peace. It's the God Divine Understand and Born Along set the record straight. Through the knowledge, um, I was just wondering if any of my people, you know, my people on YouTube, you know, my people on YouTube, MySpace, Facebook, I keep it real. Um, anybody else out there in Google land that's getting me, that's peace too. But have you ever noticed, you know what I'm saying? And you know how I build. I build the European and Asiatics. I'm like Francis Quest. You know what I'm saying? I know and understand what's 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 popping with Asiatics, you know, my name divine understanding born of law, but this is what I've been noticing in the Asiatic groups, it seems to be this um I don't know, I feel I feel like personally that the Mexicans got this uh like this animosity towards um Black Americans, that's for lack of a better way of putting it, if we gonna go deep and get into all the nationality and all that. But I'm saying, or the cultures or the nations, whichever the nations, you know, traveling as, you know, we got the Hebrew nations, we got the God nation, the nation of the 5% nation, they got NOI, they a nation, you know, you even got the Yoruba nation, and you know, whatever the case may be. So. Um, I'm just saying, man, this acts like they real hostile towards us for like, I'm saying to myself, is there some kind of war going on between Asiatic black man and Asiatic Mexican man? Is there, is there some kind of war that didn't nobody tell me about and I didn't even know that they got this war on us? Even in the news, now I've been checking out the news. And if you check out the news, and I'm talking about, you know, just the regular news will say that the uh, people from Mexico who were those descendants of Mexico, they got a lot of the Pantagonian and the amalgamation, right? It was amalgamation and miscegenation of Pantagonian, um, Asiatic. Uh, European is there, you know, whether they was Asiatic and Pantagonian from North America, South America, Central America, or European from Europe, which they could have been conquistadors, which might have had a lot of French Goth in them, or they could have been conquistadors that had a lot of more in them, if you wanted to go, you know, right into Asia, into uh, Morocco and Asia and the Barber and, you know, Islamic tribes and the Rock of Gibraltar and all that. It could have been that mixture. Whatever the case may be, it was an amalgamated group. Anyway, you come up with these modern days, we know who we talk about when we say it from Mexico. Mexican. You know how I keep it real, son. I'm just saying this. Now, I experienced a minor uh things you know little minor shit and motherfucker was you know had like a hostile um demeanor towards me you know and um i didn't know where it was coming from because i didn't know we had beef with with them and then i started doing some research and this ain't just recent this shit been going on for a minute son so I did some research and it was like, yo, this shit was escalating. So I was saying, where that, where that come from? Somebody, you know, maybe somebody expertise in that, in that area. You know, you might want to shed some light and let us all, you know, I'm going to do some more research. You know how I do it, son. But I'm just saying, some people might already have some history on that. Like, when this go down, what happened? You know, did we make a move on them and then they made one on us? Or is it like they like just making moves on us like to please the European? Is that who you trying to please? You trying to roll on us to think make the European put you in a, a better position or something like that? You like you back you cowing down to the powers of Europe over the Asiatic black man? Is that what you doing? That's what's popping? I'm saying, I ain't saying what you should do, but is that how y'all rolling on us? 
I didn't know that. If that's true, you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying in scripture it say every hand would be against you. That was showing proof that you was the chosen one. Every hand would be against you. You know what I'm saying? Even other Asiatic races to me be like rolling on us. Like I looked how the Korean nation, you know what I'm saying? And when I was overseas, I took Taekwondo and Hapkido. You know what I'm saying? I thought they was cool. I learned their culture and the whole shit. And then I'm online the other day and I'm doing the knowledge. And I noticed how they were very instrumental in controlling and monopolizing the hair product industry. And they didn't do it to help their brethren come up. If they did it like we could do this because we know the European really don't like you and we starting to believe that hype that he that he said about you and we going we going um, capitalize on your indifferences to what is really going on because you can't really come together and they're saying but it's not the original man's fault that he can't come together if you look at it from a national point of view you would say this was systematically demise and it, it's still being that system of keeping you from coming together is is still being done to you you know whether it's conscious or unconscious it's you're systematically uh, de helping it destroy you but it, you you've been you've been brainwashed basically and that's why you need knowledge of yourself because once you got knowledge of yourself um then it's uh easier for you to see the path that needs to be taken but until you got knowledge of yourself you know what I'm saying? One of the nations, you got to get with one of the nations. You can't keep staying out there being unconscious. Unconscious is not cool. You know what I'm saying? I showed you all the points in my other videos. You know what I'm saying? Check out them videos on Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Check out those videos and you'll understand what I'm saying about if you're unconscious. That way, even if you are unconscious, but you didn't know that you was unconscious. Because some people are unconscious. But they don't know they're unconscious until you point it out to them. So all the conscious people got to um, start, you know, fight. Stop fighting among yourself trying to prove that yours is the greatest science. But reach out to the unconscious and be like waking them up. Because we don't like, you know, make this last effort to wake up the unconscious and do our part and wake them up and do what we got to do whatever it's going to be it is going to be then you know what I'm saying at the same time while we striving to wake them up because some people got that flavor they could wake them up let them wake them up and that way we ain't got to be worrying about each other each body take their own science and use that to wake up their own sheep that want to come to them and then at the same time, the leaders of those different groups could be talking, the leadership of those groups talk to their own leadership and get that shit ironed out. Once they like all on the same page, then it'd be easier for us to, as groups talk to each other because if we talk to each other and, and use our resources in the correct way, we would need to like have to hustle because we could create our own jobs, you know, by just making sure that all of us got food, clothing, shelter. Those three things are like commodities that are needed. You gotta have food, clothing, and shelter. So we just gotta make sure that we do make sure that's correct. Cause you can't really be a nation as big as we are and everybody going to see shit the same way it ain't going down like that it's not going to go down where everybody going to be everybody not going to be 5% that's a fact everybody's not going to be the 10% and everybody's not going to be unconscious but mad people are going to be unconscious and that's the truth so 
when you like looking at it from outside in, they looking at it differently from when you looking at it from inside out. Because when you looking at it from inside out, you looking at your nation and you saying, my nation got the greatest science that it is. And then they're thinking their nation got the greatest. And then the, the, the powers are using our influence that we have in each of our own nations to say, we going to you know, say that they science ain't right and exact. And then that's going to like boost our numbers up. And whatever the case may be or whatever they ego and tripping on doing it for. It could be anything, you know. They might be just thinking they're doing the right thing, but what it is is, no matter what, if you if it's if it's separating, if that's your philosophy, that's your philosophy, whatever, whatever. But don't be like banging on other nations that been around, you know, waking up whoever their sheep is. You feel me? Now the reason why I said it, you might say no, but we gotta bang on these niggas and let them know that that shit they talking ain't right and exact. Man, it ain't right and exact to you, maybe. But it might be right and exact to them. They might think your shit ain't right and exact. Who's to say whose shit is right and exact? Only the person who's using it can say, does it, this is how you know if it's right and exact or not. Whatever it is you like and you're doing, is it making you right and exact? If it's making you a demon, then what you got and you want to be a demon, then you got some right and exact shit for you. You feel me? But that still don't mean that everybody should be a demon, motherfucker. Please, you stupid. Okay, let's take it to the next level. Say you got some shit and your shit is, well, you might say, well, I'm down with the cross. Somebody else might say, well, I'm down with the arm. So... You saying that because they ain't down with the unk that they not a right and exact person? Or are you saying if they was down with the unk and they wasn't right and exact still, that they still right and exact? Oh, I'm just saying. So, now, what if they like no one understands sun, moon, and stars? What if they had another level, you know what I'm saying? They don't understand sun, moon, stars, and seven. My name is Divine Understanding Born of Law. I might run into somebody whose name is whatever righteous name they're carrying. And they might, in my eyes, like, might not look like they're right and exact. Does that mean that um, I'm going to, like, judge them? No. That just means that I'm going to, like, do what I got to do to make sure my cipher is right and exact. Because I'm only held responsible for what? 360 degrees of myself. I don't, I am not responsible for the next motherfucker. But at the same token, you are responsible. You're not responsible if they do something that's not right and exact. And it's time to pay the piper. No. But you are responsible for not elevating your brother's thoughts. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. So, and that, to make a long story short, you know what I'm saying? All I'm saying is, why niggas be fighting with niggas mad fucking hard? But when these motherfuckers that don't consider, even though they Asiatic and we Asiatic, but we just different races in the Asiatic or different nations in the Asiatic community. But they be fucking rolling on us as a group. Physically, not not no mental, metaphysical, psychological, cons um, uh, wheel conspiracy or whatever the fuck they doing to you. It ain't, it ain't that. I'm talking about just regular motherfuckers like us. Be rolling in a group and trying to fuck us up. On some real shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, I did some real deep research on it. Even in the penile institution. In the penile institution. It's like. Like. Even you might be in their culture or creed. You might say. Uh, I'm a Muslim. Right? You might be a Muslim. And. 
the more look, the more European looking Muslims, when it's just Muslims on Muslims. Now Muslims might get together, they might get together, might, if it's somebody non-Muslim, because they be on it like that. But, you be in the penal and it might be Muslims with Muslims, or you might be overseas and it might be Muslims with Muslims, and the Muslims that look more European-ish, look that look. They'll kind of like be together in the ones that look more of the black Asiatic. Black because it's black, brown, red, and yellow. So the black ones, they'll be together. The brown ones, they'll be together. The red ones will be together. The yellow ones will be together. But now in these modern days, those other Asiatics, brown, red, and yellow, who be trying to disrespect the black one in these modern days. That's what I've been seeing, G. Am I wrong? Am I fucking imagining some shit? Or is that what's going down? Like, I can't say I ran into any Chinese that was trying to get at me. Or that I saw in the system, but I don't know if it is or it isn't because I know I, I used to like think that the um the Hindu tribes, you know what I'm saying, I thought we was mad cool with them because I had, you know, seen the love that we had in Trinidad but from the Hindu tribes that even though they don't really do they don't really practice that Hindu um teaching like they used to back in the days, but maybe they, you know, doing whatever they doing. I don't know what major religions they was. You know. like some of the elders had the old ways, and then the new youth, like our youth in these modern days, got their own ways. It was some rolling shit like that, right? But, but anyway, the point I was making was, even one time, you know what I'm saying, my own self, I seen the... Uh, for lack of a better way of explaining it, like that motherfucker was kissing ass to like rattle on me and like trying to fuck me up on, I'm like, what the fuck, you know? You trying to rat me out to make me look bad in front of the manager, which was a European, because you ain't do that when it was a Asiatic manager. Only when the European managers come around he would act like a real kiss ass. And he was a real, he was from over there. He, used to, he was all in love with England and God bless the queen. And I mean, I'm saying that's all good. Why are you trying to rat on me? What the fuck is that all about? You know, like, you know, and that wasn't the only place. Like one time I went in to a health store. It was a health food store. And me and Ken used to go into this health food store and buy stuff all the time. And then it changed owners. The Hindus took over. So we had been there in like a month, so we didn't really know they had took over. So when we came to make our rounds back, now we going back by there. Because we used to get these mangoes from these dried mangoes from there, you know. And um, they was like watching us and shit. Like, you ain't never seen me in your life because you're new here. And he was like watching us and you know tripping son and at the same time I'm looking over his shoulder at these Europeans that was already in the store when we came in and when they when he walked over there clocking us they was all in his cash register all behind the counter they got like mad shit I'm looking at them and they looking at me and I'm looking at them and they seen me look at them, but I ain't seen nothing because I'm not no rat. I wasn't even ratting them out, but I'm looking at him watching me, so I walk further in the back. Fuck it. I walk further in the back, and he following me. They wiping his ass out. That was the teacher's ass a lesson. Don't be trying to diss the black man because we ain't the one fucking you up, son. Then I was around some... Uh, they call them in these modern days Middle Easterns, but I don't know where they was from. They could have been from Yemen, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Libya, 
uh, Algiers, Tanzania, fuck for all I knew, you know, I don't know where they was from, but they was that, that people, and them niggas be dissing niggas in the hood all the time, ass niggas in the projects that they are the stores and the stopping shops and all them kind of little stop and go, whatever the fuck name they had, they was dissing us too, this is what I'm saying, is it a, is it all out diss the black man? Uh, decade now, cause we gon' cause we in the 2000s. Like they've been dissing us since after the world. Tra Yo, son, when we had the World Trade Center. Now feel me if I'm not right and exact. When the World Trade Center, 9/11, 2001. Right. Tell me if I'm wrong. I know it wasn't 2000. It was 2001. So anyway, talk to me now. Um, 9-11-2001. Now, right after that went down, it was like a quiet calm. Now, I'm not getting into all who did it and who didn't. You know, I'm just saying the regular people know that it went down. You know that it went down because they ain't there. All right, so that's a fact that they went down. Now, how they went down and whatever, whatever. I'm just talking about you in the building is going down on you. You really ain't concerned about who did it at that particular moment. You're trying to get the fuck out the way. That's Let's go there with it. You feel me? So, right after that, though, they was like, you know, Europeans was like nice to a, a Af Okay. European Americans were nice to African Americans for that little moment. It was nice. It almost lasted about a year. Then shit starts sprouting up again. After, you know, people drew their line. Europeans drew the line in the sand against other Europeans. Saying that the Europeans that felt that the government story was good and the government. And then the Europeans that didn't think it was right and exact. They drew a line in the sand. And then uh, other Europeans who may have been on each other the other side, but they're, they're breeding their own. Like they might pick sides too, but then they got this thing where they want to be fucking with us for no motherfucking reason. So, <coughs> <coughs> all right. And they want to be fucking with us for no apparent reason. But then they set the tempo for the other nationalities to start trying to step to us and treat us like we ain't shit. Like we ain't went through enough shit. Motherfuckers ain't killed enough of our leaders. And every time we had somebody that was going to get our shit together, you know what I'm saying, was going to help us take us to the next plane. Here they come and kill the motherfucker, or put him in jail, or ruin his fucking reputation, or whatever the case may be. These are things that happen. So when you motherfuckers want to say, oh, the black man ain't got his shit together in America, and he's like, he's always like fucking up, or shooting his own people, selling drugs, rapping and cursing, you know, they want to say that shit about us. But why are we doing that, motherfucker? We doing that shit because this is what is fucking being done to us. This is what the fuck you ain't getting the idea. And we ain't answering for no fucking body to help us. You know what I'm saying? It ain't like we some punk ass niggas and I'm crying to you niggas. I'm just saying. That's what I'm doing. Like I seen this Muslim, he made a show called I'm Just Saying. Well, I ain't biting your shit, but I'm just saying. What the fuck? Is it an all out? Because you know, once you get to a certain... You know what Kendi used to say? It ain't that you ain't born. You gotta be born. I mean, you could get born and born depending on what the subject matter is. The new subject matter could be, is niggas trying to get at us? And then you might say, okay, niggas be getting at niggas, but at a certain level. But it's these other motherfuckers who consider themselves other than us, but they really us. But fuck all that. They other than us. Is it like a war... They all trying to, like, get at us, too? What is the whole fucking planet trying to get at us? That's what I'm saying, son. Am I imagining some shit? Well, that's what's going down. All right, I'm out. Peace. Motherfuckers.
and you can get that shit together.